Hi, hi Jay. Uh, just kind of well, guess I want to give you the floor. Just where do you think the series was um, was lost tonight? Um, well, I'll talk about tonight. I don't think it's you know it's still very raw. Um, obviously, our group is uh, very disappointed for uh, coming up coming up short of our goal, which was to push this series to seven games. And um, you know, I think um, you know there were points in tonight's game where we can be better. Um, you know, that said, I, I thought the effort of our players, they pushed right to the very end in, in trying to, to find the equalizers. Uh, in the end, it, it, it didn't uh, turn our way, but I can't fault uh, the effort of our players, but there were certainly some points in tonight's game that we felt we could execute it better. Jay, Leon Dreisaitl was very hard on himself, obviously took, not only taking the loss naturally, you know, very emotionally, but felt that he was a major factor in why you guys lost tonight. What, what do you think when you, when you hear something like that? What do I think? I think we win as a team and we don't win as a team. And we stick together. Um, you know, uh, that's Leon um, being the leader that he is in, in trying to... Um, you know, take all that on himself, but we win as a team and we lose as a team. And uh, in the end, uh, we didn't execute at a, as a, at a high enough rate today in order to win the game and push it to seven games. And obviously you have so much high-end skill. You've got 300-point scores, a lot of guys with career years. In terms of your top six, how do how would you assess their play you know, in, the, in the series as a whole? Again, I think it's too, uh, it's too soon to give any... Um, you know, uh, broad characterizations of how uh, individuals played. But, um, you know, I, like I said, I thought our players emptied the tank tonight. It, it, it didn't turn for us. And in the end, um, some ex execution defensively is, is what ended up hurting us tonight. Jay, over here. Um, Stuart Skinner, he, he bounced back every time, seemed to have a good bounce back game. And he obviously won the starting position with his play during but was there ever a point where you thought maybe give Jack a chance to start the game, or how did you kind of go yeah, with that? Yeah, I goal? think we we beat this up uh, in the last two days in terms of the questions. But yeah, that, we think about that stuff all the time. Um, in the end, we win as a team, and and we don't win as a team. And um, um, you know, uh, I thought uh, you know there's different points in tonight's game where we got to be better, and that's not on one person, regardless of the position. You look at the game tonight, and you guys dominated that first period, but they were only one shot away from tying it. And then when things went their way, it looked like they got two, three goals on you in those stretches, I guess. Was that maybe a difference when you guys dominated, you guys didn't extend the lead far enough, and they were able to kind of get back? Maybe. Maybe. Um, in the end, I thought we played a very good first period. I thought in the second period, um, there were situations we could handle better, specifically around our net. Um... And uh, I thought we pushed very hard in the third period, but like I said, um, it didn't fall for us tonight. And, but I can't uh, fault um, the effort of our players. I thought we emptied the tank, and uh, in the end, a little bit of lack of execution there defensively in the second period ended up uh, really hurting us tonight. Uh, the stats might point to the discrepancy in even strength goals through the series. How did you feel about the quality of play at even strength that your team had, and what, did it match that discrepancy, or do you think you, did you like the chances well, you had? How many how many how many shots on net? Did, I didn't get a final game sheet, so I didn't see what were the final shot, shots on net. You had lots tonight, though. Yeah. You What's were, that? Sorry. Forty-one. Forty-one. To what? Yeah. 22. So in an elimination game, we gave up 22 shots on net. Uh, in the end, there were uh, moments within that game, um, specifically some of the chances we gave up on those 22 shots that we think we can handle better. Um, they converted at a higher rate. They finished at a higher rate five on five than we finished. Um, you know, we scored two five on five goals tonight, uh, but we gave up, um, you know, I think three five on five goals. One was at the end of a four on three, it was a four on four situation, but, and then we gave up an empty netter. So they had one more than us tonight. I think um, that goes to just execution on a few plays uh, defensively. 
It's a close series. They yeah. have a good team, too. And yeah. you think sometimes, that could, I mean, it sounds like a cop-out, but at the end of the day, they were the only team in the league that finished ahead of you the regular season in the yeah. Western Conference. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a really good point. And congratulations are in order to uh, the Vegas Golden Knights, who who played a very good series. Um, there were two teams that were taking swings at each other um, in every game. Um, there's moments in that series that we feel we could execute it at a higher level, but you also also have to tip your cap to the other team uh, you're right they finished ahead of us in the standings um, you know and I thought um, you know I thought there's moments we want to have back and and we're gonna have to learn from to use this as the growth opportunity that it presents itself as uh, for us as an organization to take a step but all that said, uh, the Vegas Golden Knights uh, executed at a high level, and um, they're moving on for a reason. Jay, it is Rob. Uh, there was a lot of questions about Evan Bouchard and maybe what he could do. You played him 31 minutes tonight. Yeah. Just the thought on the total, you know, totality of what he accomplished during the course of the playoffs, and uh, you know, maybe your confidence level got, was evident. Yeah. You're right. Ice time's your currency. Yeah, I thought uh, we saw great growth in Bouch. Um, you know, not only in the playoffs, but down the stretch since the at home trade, I thought that pair um, was very good for us. Obviously, when you're behind in a game like we were tonight, uh, he's going to play more minutes. But um, you know, he's he's somebody who's taken off, and um, you know, and I, I we'll get to that, I'm sure, in, in follow up press conferences and whatnot, and summing up the season and, and individuals and all that kind of stuff, but. Um, you know, for Evan to turn in the playoffs that he did, he sh he should feel like he's in a in a good trajectory moving forward. Jay, the uh, the matchup, um, and I know you you don't spend a lot of time chasing too many matchups. Yeah. Um, the McLeod Carlson matchup tonight um, started the game. A lot of the TV timeouts. Uh, what was it about that matchup that you wanted, or was it was it also freeing up your other guys to not have to face them? Yeah, what I would say, Jason, is that. Um, you know, I think if the other team had their druthers, they would have wanted Carlson on on Connor McDavid. And um, going back to game number four here at home, we liked what we saw in the matchup of McLeod versus that line. You know, it was unfortunate we gave up a goal uh, pretty early, but I love the response of our team. And um, you know, that line found a goal back. Uh, so it, it was good on that line to, to find a goal back. I had real confidence in the McLeod, Derek Ryan, and Warren Fogle line. I thought they played their asses off uh, for their, not only for each other as a line, but played their asses off for their teammates. They gave everything that they had, and they were a very good line in this series for us. Good, thank you.